All right, hey, January 1st, uh, 2019. I was able to get out today and do a little bit of flying because the weather uh, up here in Washington has been uh, pretty dang nice. Uh, the area you're seeing on the screen uh, usually is covered with about uh, three feet of snow, but uh, it hasn't been, so I was able to get out and fly a little bit uh, for the Nisqually Land Trust uh, uh, today, and I was able to process that in PIX4D, as you can see. Um, I just had, I wanted to show this because I've actually had a lot of, uh, of incomplete missions because of the uh, wind blowing out here, you know, down these valleys and everything. The wind usually uh, howls pretty good. Um, and today was one of those days, winter days. It was cold, but it was, man, it was just still as can be, and it, it just made all the difference in the world because, you know, as you know, uh, PIX4D has trouble with moving objects, especially trees when you get them, you know, moving all randomly and everything um, all over, and uh, it really can uh, distort your uh, uh, your project. Uh, but I flew this at uh, uh, about 400 feet here. Um, it was a little bit tricky uh, of being able to fly this because it's about a kilometer in each direction from the middle uh, where I was flying it here uh, from um, in either direction. So it was difficult to maintain a line of sight, but I was able to pull it off and uh, got some pretty good uh, got some data here. Um, again, this was with the uh, you know the Parrot Disco with that uh, GoPro 5 in it, which I've been flying for a long time, which uh, just it seems to just really be simple and work like a, uh, a champ. Um, I'm sure the, the uh, Hero 6 and all that, and the newer ones work the same way, uh, probably a little bit better um, uh, optics. But anyway, I've been still, I've been using this one and it works like a champ. The customers absolutely love it. Uh, love the data that comes uh, comes out of this. Um, but I uh, just wanted to show this here. Um, I, uh, I flew this, here's just the map view. So you can see uh, uh, kind of where uh, uh, this was at. Um, I always fly these diagonal lines too. Um, I didn't fly too many here because I was running out of battery. Um, but I fly these diagonal lines too, and I just find that it, it just tends to tie things better together, um, especially the altitude side of it uh, when you fly these and do a couple crossing patterns. You know, if you use PIX4D Capture, it will have you fly, you know, a, a grid pattern, a double grid pattern, and that works. But for something like this with fixed wing, it, it just usually doesn't work too well to, uh, to do that. So I just manually do that. Uh, but this is the product that came out, and uh, um, even though this has a, a ground sampling distance of about four inches, um, it was really able to give them some great data uh, they haven't had before because now you can really start to see uh, what this looks like in three dimensions. And, you know, they're really interested in the different growth of the trees. Uh, you can see the deciduous pockets. You can see the uh, uh, the new growth they have here, it's a little bit of the older growth down along here. Um, they can also measure the height of the trees and everything over here down along the river. Um, so it really gave them a, uh, some rich data to look at here. Um, but again, I, I've tried doing this before, and with the wind howling down this, uh, you know, at, uh, uh, at 20 miles an hour, so it makes it just impossible to get anything, anything like this because of uh, all the uh, problems you have with... Uh, um, with movement in uh, uh, in photogrammetry. So anyway, I was really happy the, with the way this came out with the uh, the data we, I was able to uh, uh, to get out and get to them uh, for this uh, for this project um, came out great. Um, just to show you here uh, quickly to the um, uh, the mosaic of it came out uh, a pretty dang good too. You know, usually again you have a lot of problems um, with the the movement and everything around here. It actually captured the uh, the river pretty good and everything else too. You know, you, so you can see it uh, It came out pretty dang good um, for a, a four-inch ground sampling distance. And, and you know, it's not uh, it's not four-inch resolution, um, but it's just the ground sa the sampling distance that it was able to use. But, uh, you know, usually you're talking about half of that or so for resolution, which is probably about what you're seeing, uh, you're seeing here. But anyway, they were able to get some really good data out of that, and I, I was really happy the way this came out. Um, for the uh, for the customer. So anyway, just wanted to show that uh, real quick. Uh, some of the stuff I've been doing. If you got any questions about this, you know, you can uh, um, drop me an email, or you can go to uh, my website at uh, skyview3d.com, um, and be more than happy to chat with you about some of this and some of the work I'm doing for these uh, these folks up here in Washington uh, Washington State. See ya.